Hello, I'm Coco, food enthusiast, author, and resident chef. Cooking with Coco, here we go. Welcome, family, to my kitchen. Look at that, this, what? Ha, bam! Every batch made from scratch. Nothing to it but to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Cook with Coco. From my grandma's kitchen to mine, now to yours. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco. How is everybody doing? Listen, I got a good one for you tonight. What's cooking? Taco salad bowls. Homemade taco salad bowl. I'm going to show you how to prepare, make, fix, however you want to put it together. Taco salad bowls tonight. Cooking with Coco. Y'all come on. I'm going to open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to get started. I'm so excited about this. It's delicious. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Dear God, we come thanking you for another cooking opportunity. God, Lord, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. God, we thank you for your love. Lord, I thank you for the viewers that are tuning in tonight. God, I just thank you and I ask you to bless them. Bless them real, 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 real good, God. Lord, I ask you to bless the simple but delicious, easy, breezy meal that we're going to prepare and chow down on. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm feeling pretty good. Listen, this is one of my favorites. You know what, really, I don't cook a whole lot of things that I don't like, so I'm, you're probably going to hear me say that a lot. Uh, this is my favorite. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take a 10, at least a 10 inch tortilla, flour tortilla shell, okay? You want to take that shell and you want to spray it on each side. And we're spraying it so it'll be nice and crispy and buttery. Take a little brush here and just make sure all of the edges are nice and covered. You wanna flip that and then you wanna turn and do the other side. And this is just a cooking spray that I use this is Pam. If you have one that you prefer, that you like, then guys, you use what you like. How is everybody doing? I am so glad that y'all are with me tonight. Then what you want to do, you want to take some type of cooking dish bowl that's oven safe. You want to place this. And just, can they see this? I want them to see this, please, sir. Um, you want to take it and you want to form a little bowl, if you will, like so. Okay, you want to put it in the oven on 375 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes. Depends on how hot your oven gets, okay? You want to place it on top of a cookie sheet and then put it in the oven, okay? While that's doing it, it's going to become nice and buttery, absolutely flaky and delicious. Then we want to come over here and we want to get started with this yumminess. Yumminess. So I'm going to take just a tad of olive oil. Okay, just a tad, maybe about a tablespoon, okay? And, uh, yes sir, uh, we wanna place our onions and red bell peppers in our olive oil, okay? Like so. What are y'all cooking tonight? What are y'all cooking? And then we just wanna kinda stir that like so. Now, if you don't like because this is going to be my taco meat mixture. So if you don't like what I put in here, guys, listen. Make it your own. Don't use the things that you don't like. Use what you do like, okay? So I have red bell peppers and onions. Going to just season that a little bit with salt and pepper. Okay? And then I'm going to add my ground beef. I'm going to add about two pounds, I guess. So you think that's enough, Rodney? How, how much do you want here? It's just Aikens and I. So I think I'm just going to use that amount. And now we just want to stir all this yumminess up until, until it's nice and brown, okay? And while this is... Um, Cooking back here, we're gonna come over to this area. I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare some delicious, fresh, homemade P. 
Pico. Right, to pronounce it for me. Pico. Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo, okay? And in that, I, I have this little uh, processor here. If you don't have one, you can just chop, chop it up, okay? So we want, and of course, guys, you know I will add the ingredients. So we want to put our tomatoes. What time? And I'm using Roman tomatoes, okay? I'm using Roman to tomatoes, and I have about four tomatoes. Did I? I think it's about four tomatoes, a half of a white onion, okay? Half of a white onion, one jalapeno pepper. Not hot. And it's it's not real hot. If you like hot, then you you use hot. Also, if you like the seeds, then you can put a little few leave a few of the seeds in as well. Okay. Then I have a fresh garlic clove. Okay. And then I have about two to three tablespoons of fresh cilantro. Easy breezy. And then I want to take some lemon juice. Just a little. Okay. Like a half of a lemon. I'm going to put, what, am I missing anything, Rodney? A little garlic salt. Thank you. Thank you. See, I got some help over here today. A little garlic salt. About a tablespoon, I would say. Again, guys, I will measure, uh, put the ingredients up for you guys. Click that, and we don't want it, we're not wanting mushy. I'm gonna kind of pulsate this so it'll be kind of choppy, if you will. And so I'm just gonna turn this on. Okay. Okay. You see how this is looking? Can I start it back up, Rodney? How is that to you? What do you think? Don't want mushy, because I like little chunks. What do you think, Akins? Okay, so I'm gonna take that off. And I'm gonna see what this is looking like, okay? You see that? This is your homemade fresh pico. Now, of course, guys, you know what? You have to go in there and taste it and see what it's doing. Let's see. That needs absolutely nothing. Nothing. This is delicious and it's ready. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and put that back. I'm gonna show you guys the next. Oh. While my meat is cooking over here. And you just want your ground beef to be nice and cooked. <laughs> Cook it all the way through, guys. And um I make my own taco seasoning, and I will put those ingredients up for you for your taco seasoning. Let me tell you something. When you use the homemade taco seasoning, you will not go back to those packets. I promise. So, now we're going to get started with the, guacam the fresh guacamole. Now, just know that we're making homemade taco salad bowls. So, now we have our taco shells or our um, tortilla shells in the oven toasting. They're going to be nice and crispy and buttery and just delicious. So now I have three avocados. Okay, I've taken the seeds out, and then you just want to take all that goodness out of there. Okay, like so. Okay. What are you guys cooking tonight? We just wanted something easy, breezy, nice and simple, but oh my, so. So delicious. Yes. Y'all come on. And let's cook with Coco. Listen, if I can do it, you can do it. Y'all better quit playing and come on. Cook with Coco. Yes. Y'all, this is a good one. Easy breezy. Kids would like this. I think kids and your grandkids would really love this. We absolutely love fresh guacamole. Love, love, love. Mm, I couldn't let that go. Wait, that was so good. Okay. What did I do with my cow? There it is. Okay. Okay. Now. What you want to do next, we're going to take some onions, use red onions. Okay, I'm going to put the onions in. I probably should have put this in a bigger bowl and then dumped it over in, but we'll, it, it'll be okay. It will be okay. Okay, turn that up a bit. My husband's 
husband saying something, but he knows I cannot read lips. So, step into the side just to get a bigger bow, guys. Okay, and then I'll put that back over in. So I need room to stir and all that good stuff, okay? So now we have it in the, and then we want to take some garlic salt. Okay, and if you ever put too much garlic salt, you can always use a lemon to dilute it. So now we want a lemon. We want, do we use a whole lemon? What do we do? About a whole lemon? Okay. So you see how easy that pico was, guys? It is so delicious, so delicious. Okay, I'm going to stir my uh, ground beef back here. And again, guys, I know a lot of people just for the sake of easy and for the sake of, <laughs> you know, you know how taco seasoning tastes. But guys, if you make your own, everything is just so nice and fresh, fresh herbs, and it really is absolutely delicious. Okay. It's almost, it's almost there. So now I want to take my little, okay, did I have some in there, Rodney? Yes. Okay. I see one. He wants me to get the seed out. Oh, maybe okay. I don't think it was, oh, there's one. Okay. Okay, it'll be okay. Okay, now you want to take your smasher. If you have a smasher, if you don't, just smash it with a, a spoon or a fork. <laughs> yes. So we have onions, we have lemon juice, we have um, the avocados, of course, and we have garlic salt, okay? Now, some people like theirs really, really smooth. I like little chunks, but you know, make it your own, okay? And let me ask you this, what else? Could you put in not only your pico, Rodney, what else could you put in your homemade guacamole? Guys, you could use tomatoes. You also could put cilantro in your guacamole. Okay. Peppers. And peppers. You sure can. Okay. I'm going to just step to the side for one second, guys. This is an easy breezy, but this is so delicious, guys. You all need to try this before Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Just an easy, quick meal that everyone can and will enjoy. Okay? So. And then we just want to put this over in our bowl here. Easy breezy. And guys, you can eat this, um, of course, with chips, fried corn tortillas. Um, what else? You can put this on burgers, on chicken sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. Okay, Rodney, my meat is, I would say, <laughs> nice and done, actually. Okay, my little ground beef beater. <laughs> Now look at that. Now I put bell peppers and onions. I put a little salt and pepper in this. And it's not a whole lot of oil in this. I don't really have to drain that. So, but if you want to drain it, you can. It's not very much. This is going to bring me some flavor. Now I want to take some of my taco seasoning. And again, guys, I will give you the measurements for this taco seasoning. Absolutely amazing and so delicious. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's... Look at that. And of course, you know, I love, I love garlic. And I meant to put just a little fresh garlic in there. So what I'm going to do, it's not a, this is some minced garlic, okay? Mix that in there like that. Mix that really well like that. Of course, you want to make, you know, take your, your taste test. <laughs> you know, my husband's always sneaking his fingers in my food when I turn away and uh, some of the viewers told on it. He said, they did. I said, yes, they did. 
Uh, I'm not sure who told, but I know my mom told him. When you walk away, Rodney's sneaking his hand in the food. That's not good. It's not cute. Okay, so those shells are cooking. Now. this off because that is done. You see that? Nice, pretty. Let me see. And delicious. It needs a little bit more to me. Talk uh, a little seasoning. So I added a little garlic salt. Okay guys? Again, make it your own. Make it delicious. Make it yummy. Okay? Now, that's that. Let me go. Ooh, I want you guys to see this. Okay, Hold on. Look at this, Okay. You see the shell? And it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. I really kind of needed to. That's how it's supposed to look. If you have a polar. And guys, I have three different sizes. I have that size, I have a miniature size, and this all depends on the containers or the dishes that you use, okay? So. Now, and all you do now is load, load it up with all of this goodness. That's, that's what you do. Nothing to it but to do it. Dinner really is ready, guys. It's ready, ready? So, what you wanna do first? You wanna, I'm gonna show you, cause we gotta taste this yumminess. So you wanna take some shredded lettuce, and my husband was like, well, what, do you just throw everything on top? You do it the way you want to. So I'm gonna do my bowl the way I want to, and then I'll let him decide how he wants to. So what I do is put, I put my lettuce on first, Aikens, put my lettuce first, and then, I take my beef. Now guys, you can use beef, you can use chicken, and you can use steak. And then, if you don't want any meat, you can use, of course, just veggies. You can use black beans. You can use a corn, of course, okay? So, and you, you put as much as you feel like you want, okay? Then you wanna take some cheese while it's still warm. Put that cheese on top. Look at that, guys. Easy breezy, nothing to it. You can do it. And then I love tomatoes. Put you some tomatoes up there. Okay. Um, I love green onions. So if you like green onions, put you a few little green onions. Okay. Yeah. What? Fresh guacamole. Y'all better come on. I'm not playing with you. Look, y'all can do this. You can do it. A dollop of sour cream. Yes, and then come on, our fresh homemade pico. Yes, let's get with it. And guys, get you some mason jars and you can keep this. It will keep in the refrigerator. Okay, let me show you this, guys. And I probably won't, I don't know if Akins will like it, but I, I make a homemade sauce. It's, it's a taco sauce, and it's just mayonnaise. It's tacos, my homemade taco seasoning, and it's milk, okay? That's it. And so I'm just gonna drizzle a little of my taco seasoning, like so, just like that. And then of course, a little taco salsa, okay? Guess what? It's eat, eat time. Oh my goodness! Dear God, we thank you for this delicious taco salad bowl made our little taco shell we have fresh ground beef seasoned to perfection we have our lettuce and tomatoes and cheese homemade guacamole homemade pico we have a dollar for sour cream some fresh green onion y'all better come on and cook with coke i'm not playing with you guess what also you can make a rotel dip if you like as well or make coco's fresh homemade tacos taco drizzle Oh, yeah, look how crispy the shell is. Listen. <laughs> Y'all, get in the kitchen. Come on, and let's cook with coconut.
go. We're done. You can do it. Easy breezy. I'm, I'm, look, I'm going to eat in the bed tonight with this. And it's just easy. It's just breezy. And it's just totally delicious. What are you doing, Aiden? What am I, where are you pointing at? <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to Cooking with Coco on my YouTube channel. If you have not, if you like it, then like it. If you want to share it, then please share it. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, don't forget to go to Amazon.com to order your first and second edition. I'm going to be coming out with my third edition, and I want you to already have your two cookbooks. Cooking with Coco, every batch made from scratch, and Cooking with Coco Keto Style. Y'all better come on. That third edition will be coming out in the first of the year. Come on, and let's cook with Coco.